Hi programmers, in the first part of result analysis, we printed the toppers of each subject. In the second part of result analysis, we shall calculate the pass percentage of each subject. We shall use the same input sheet. Hope you remember the grades used. A student who has passed the examination obtains one of the grades in the left side of the slide that is O or A plus or A or B plus or B. If a student has attempted the exam and failed, the grade would be U. If a student fails due to absence, the grade is UA. Note that uninformed absence is a rear or failure here indicated by UA. If our student is withdrawing from exam with proper permission and planning to attempt it later, then the grade will be W, that is withdrawn. If the student hasn't paid fees or due to other such reasons, the university can withhold the results and publish them at a later point of time. In that case, the grade is WH, which means withheld. Fine. Now, how shall we find the pass percentage of a particular subject? Pass percentage is nothing but total number of students passed divided by total number of students who attempted multiplied with 100. So, here, what does the term total students passed mean? It is nothing but students who got the grades O, A plus A, B plus B. In other words, students who got grades other than U, U, A, W, W, H. Now, let us see the denominator. It is total students attempted. Here, it means the students who have obtained the grades O, A plus A, B plus B, U, U, A. So as we have seen already, uninformed absence also falls under this category. It also indicates the student has attempted and it has failed. It comes under that category here. Now, if we want to get the total number of students, that is the number of records that we have. In our example, we had 100 records. So to get the length of the entries, we can just mention it as length of the data frame. That is, the students might have obtained either O or A plus A, B plus B, U, U, A, W or W, H, whatever B. All the grades come under this length of data frame. Now let me have a variable called failures to count the students who got U and U, A. They are the ones who have failed. Let me have another variable w that is used to count the number of students who got w and wh that is whose results are withheld and who have withdrawn. So now let me rewrite the pass percentage like this. So total number of students passed it is nothing but the total number of entries that is we have 100 entries here that is the length of the data frame minus failures, that is the students who got U, A, U. So they are the ones who have failed, minus W, that is, see here, what we are seeing is that if the results are withheld for some reason or the students has withdrawn for some reason, then we will not be counting them when we are calculating the pass percentage. That is the reason I have subtracted W both in the numerator and in the denominator. And the formula is as simple as you can see on the screen. That is, pass percentage is total number of students, that is 100, minus failures, that is who got U, U, A, divided by length of the data frame, that is nothing but 100. So, as mentioned already, we will not take into consideration the ones who have obtained W or WH. That's why I have subtracted w both in numerator and in denominator and i've multiplied that answer by 100 this will give me the pass percentage for a particular subject now let us code this in python so let me have a separate function for this subject wise area that takes two arguments that is the data frame and j so j is nothing but as we saw already in the part one here it is used for the accessing the index of the columns that is for each subject We'll be uh, looping it later from the index 2 to 10, as we saw already. So here I'm having the variable failures as 0. I'm initializing w as 0. 
Now I'm going through the entire list that is along the length of the data frame. If I'm finding any grade that is U or UA for a particular subject, that's why df dot i l o c of i comma j. So for a particular subject j, throughout all the hundred entries, that is what I'm looping the i. If I'm finding U or UA, I'm incrementing the failure count by one. Else, if I'm finding the grade either W or WH, I'm incrementing W by one. So this I'm repeating for throughout the length of the data frame. That is for all the records, all the hundred entries. Now I'm printing the pass percentage, the formula that we have seen already in the previous slide. So pass percentage for for printing the subject code, I'm using df dot columns dot values of j, then comma followed by the formula. Now, this is a function. I need to call it. So let me first read the file. Read file has been already defined as we saw in part one video. Now here I'm looping through each subject for j in range of two comma eleven. So actually the columns, uh, the index two to ten. In the Excel sheet, it contained the grades. That's the reason here we are looping through two comma eleven. So here I'm calling the function subject wise area of df comma j. So if we run the code, so I'm giving the name of the file that is Excel sheet. I'll be getting the output as this. So pass percentage for the subject code followed by the pass percentage. That's it. To encourage and support this work, do like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for further updates.